Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we will cover the lab how to create the cloud function and test the results. So these tasks we have to complete in this lab. So now open cloud console in cognito window. In my case it is getting signed in automatically in case you need username and password. You can always refer to the lab instructions. So now this lab is little bit tricky. So make sure to watch it completely. Now in the search box we have to search. So type here cloud run. Now click on the cloud run. Now click on write a function. Now we have to configure the name. So for name head over to the lab instruction. It shows the service name as GC function. So type it or enter the name. For region in my case it's US central one. It might be different for you. You have to allow unauthenticated invocations and make sure to click on the enable API which I just enabled. So now we have to wait for the API to be yet enabled. So as you can see the API has been successfully enabled. Now we have to As you can see, make sure guys to allow the un unauthenticated invocations. Now we have to see the instance. Maximum number of instance will be 5. So make sure to check it out. And the execution environment will be second environment. So now guys, as you can see, these are the things. You can check it once again. Make sure you do not make any mistake. Now click on create. Now wait for the task 2 which is we have to add this HTTP hello HTTP in the source. So now click on save and deploy. Now wait for this command to execute and we will move forward to the last task. So wait guys. To test the function so for that let's move to the deploy function and click on check my progress as you can see we got the score now we have to test the function so copy this message click on test now remove this message and add this message so many of you might make mistakes like just you will add this message and you will get error so you won't be able to finish this task so for that you have to receive one message and only add one message. That means only one message should be present which is mentioned on the lab instructions. So now activate your cloud shell. Once the cloud shell is activated, you have to click on the run. So as you get see, we get error. 
so now we have to click again run and now click on test in cloud shell try guys meanwhile if you haven't liked the video do like the video so now hit enter as you can see we got the message and definitely we will get the score in case you didn't get do watch the video carefully and thank you guys and have a great day ahead